Uh, we're looking at a uh, caddis fly. Uh, this is the, uh, the aquatic juvenile form. And you can see what he's done is, is he's used the bottom substrate to make himself a protective case. Um, he's actually about as long as this whole tube. Um, and he uses it for protection and also in some cases will attach it to the underside of rocks with kind of an adhesive so it's a, a way to stop from being swept away from a stream uh, by the stream flow. Caddis flies are generally indicative of uh, good water quality, so to find many caddis flies uh, is always a good thing. This casing, it's uh, pebbles and sand. In this case, each species uh, generally sticks to a very similar substrate. There are some caddis flies that will make uh, only use twigs or pieces of uh, cattail, and this one appears to uh, just use sand particles. So if I kind of irritate them, well, in this case, he won't go back in, but they will use these uh, cases for protection. Let's see if we can encourage this guy to come out. Nope. So we've got a caddis fly out of his casing. Uh, there's a couple uh, other, other caddis flies of the same species. Now, again, this is the, uh, the juvenile form. Uh, they have a... Uh, the juvenile form where they're in the water and then they'll uh, actually be, have a flying fly stage. Um, so trout fishermen really keep an eye on these species. In fact, they'll tie their flies specifically to the species that is in the stream uh, to look like it. Um, because depending on the trout, sometimes they'll only prey on the, uh, one particular hatch. 